We gotta, we gotta split up. Oh, we got UK, 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 Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Three, four, five. What do we got? How many yellows? Oh, yeah, five, five, five. No, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. against you guys, six. Uh, what club do you support, and how did you become a fan of that? Uh, I support Rotherham United. Um, that's the town I was born in, and my dad and my grandparents were all fans. So I kind of drew the short straw really, and uh, became a Rotherham fan. Uh, of all the clubs you've visited and played with, which stands out the most, and why? Um. I've not actually been to many Premier League grounds because obviously supporting Rotherham I go to all the crappy little uh, League 2 grounds but we actually played a game at um, Stamford Bridge about two months ago which was you know, incredible to play at, you know, it's not really the kind of ground you expect to ever have a kickabout on so uh, that's probably uh, the best ground I've been to, um, apart from Wembley obviously, uh, which is awesome. Are you the best football player in Muse? Yeah, yeah no without doubt. question. I'm the only football player in Muse. <laughs> Is your play on the pitch as technical as your style of play on the stage? Uh, no, not at all. I kind of wing it a little bit, really. I haven't, I haven't played properly since. I used to play a lot when I was a kid, and I started playing, you know, recently. I kind of, you know, get the ball and try and pass it to somebody. That's that's kind of funky, really. Don't try and do anything too fancy because you make a tit of yourself. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any experience with MLS? Have you been to any games or visited? We've not been to any games, but we've uh, we did a game with FC Dallas and um, Portland Timbers as well, who I don't think were in the MLS at the time, but I think they are now, is that right? Yeah, and they were great. I mean, FC Dallas was great. I think we played with their, some of their reserve guys and the coaches and stuff, and it was, uh, it was a really good day. Very tiring. <laughs> Can you talk about your excitement to play at Lollapalooza tomorrow in Chicago? Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, I think we played maybe four years ago in 2007. And uh, I think it's one of the best US festivals. Um, and I think for us it kind of reminds us, because obviously festivals are massive in Europe, you know, there's so many going on all over the place, and I think it's a relatively newer thing in the States. And uh, I think Lollapalooza is probably one that's closest to the, the European festivals we play. Um, you know, there's lots going on, there's lots of different stages. And, uh, and it's great as well having it right in the middle of the city. You know, I think that's quite rare for a festival. You know, in, in the UK and in Europe, festivals are always in the middle of farms or kind of tens of miles away from, from cities and towns. So, uh, yeah, a lot of places it's great to be able to play and see kind of the city, uh, you know, in the back line, it's, uh, in the backdrop, it's great. Can you just, talk, last question, talk about your training session so far and the little <laughs> five-a-side that you're gonna do? I'm looking forward to the five-a-side, the training session. I've not, I've not done a football training session since I was about 14 years old, so uh, it's, it's quite amazing, really. It just shows how fit these guys really are, you know? It kind of looks easy and it's, it's not at all. It's very, very tiring. Okay. And now we've got to play a game, which is going to be very hard work. <laughs>